Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be playing some Warzone. I've set myself a challenge of to try and win a game of Warzone without using the loadout drop a single time. So it's going to make it a little more difficult to win this game. It's going to make it difficult because obviously everybody else has loadouts 9 times out of 10. They've got the best class set up, the best perks. Obviously I'm going to have no perks and I'm going to have to take what I can get off the ground by looting bodies, getting kills. Uh, and to be honest, it is pretty tense, a um, little bit of a slow start, but once we get into it, it gets really, really tense. Um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this, I'm not going to spoil it, say if I win or not, you'll have to watch the end of the video to find out. But before we do start this gameplay, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button, smashing a like, and following me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for both of those are in the description. But anyway guys, let's hop straight into the gameplay. Okay guys, welcome to a Warzone video. My second Warzone video I've ever posted on the challenge, yeah, on the video. And in today's video, I've set myself a challenge to try and win this game without picking up a single loadout drop. Buying one or picking one that do drop. We're going to drop, I think this is uh, downtown. I have no idea and I've missed that roof. Okay, we've got a car. Start us off. One armor plate. I'm pretty sure this area can be pretty busy, so hopefully we can get a few kills whilst we're here. There's not much great great loot around, just two cars on top of the roof, but I definitely need a different gun because if I ever into someone now with this car, I'm 100% dead, to be honest, and I've never actually landed here, so this area is a little bit new to me. I'm gonna get this. Oh, right, we've got a thermal MP5 and a gas mask. That's actually a pretty decent drop. Let's see if we can uh, find anyone now then. Have a look around. This, thinking about it now, this challenge is definitely gonna be difficult uh, without a loadout drop, I can hear another box of somewhere. Here we go. Try and get as much money as we can so we can buy some plates. <clears throat> that is the first objective. And I'm actually glad this has got a thermal scope because I can sort of see people on uh, roofs and stuff. That might be in the distance, so we'll take that. And obviously, the MP5 is obviously my favourite gun as well, as probably all of you know. It's definitely going to be somewhere around here in this building. Kind of want to get to this helicopter as well. That's going to be a huge... I've never actually really been in a helicopter. Um, in Warzone, anyway. Um, so, I'm going to get the helicopter. I'll try my best to, at least. And then we're going to uh, sort of fly with the circle and try and get to some decent vantage points. To try and just give me that little bit more of an edge. That was a stupid place to put that claim on. But I'm going to leave it there anyway. But someone's definitely going to see it. But it's going to be a little bit more quiet around here. Because I feel like this bit, uh, this building, there's definitely going to be somebody in it. Hopefully we can hunt someone down. Dead silence there, we'll take that. I'm going to pop that in a second actually, just so I can run upstairs uh, fast. Without being heard. While still being a little bit more cautious. I can hear a box, where is that box? Oh well, I'm going to forget about the box. This dead silence is running out there. What's annoying is you're pretty much silent whilst crouching. Um, I can hear somebody as well. I think. I think I can. What's annoying though is when you crouch in, um, you're silent, but as soon as you go upstairs crouching, then you're really loud for some weird reason. Is anybody in this door? Oh, <clears throat> oh my days, okay. I knew there was someone up there. I was trying to just peek for that window in the door. This kid's gonna come for me. That was just, that was not a very good decision by him in all means to chase me like that. Luckily, we just got away, though. That was actually a pretty lucky escape. But we'll take it. We'll take that any day of the week. Right, so I actually want to try and make my way to the roof right now. Let's see what we can do up there. Do I want this AR? I'm going to take the farmhouse instead of the car. Just in case I get something a little bit more long range. You never know. It might come in handy. I've got to make some tough decisions with what weapons we're going to take here. Because not having a loadout drop, not having something I know is going to give me an edge is uh, very, very scary, and I don't know if anybody else is going to be up here. I doubt it, but I'm just going to take that precaution anyway. Okay, we're at the roof. Helicopter's still here intact. That's going to be mine in just a second, once we scout this area a little bit. Because I don't know if anybody's going to be up here. This is quite an open roof. So, I'm going to take the deployable cover, just because you never know. We might as well have something there instead of it just being an empty slot. I'm going to take the M4 as well instead of the farmhouse, I think. Shall I? Yeah, let's take the M4. Um, just because I'm going to be a little bit more better with the M4 than the Farmhouse. And plus, I think the M4 is obviously better than the Farmhouse as well. 
I'm pretty much a Warzone noob, I'll be honest. I've definitely not played as much Warzone as I should have done. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and get a little bit more. Should we take the heli now? Should we, shall we? I don't know. In fact, I don't think I'm going to. I can hear a box. I don't know where it is. It's kind of annoying. It's probably below me somewhere, obviously, but I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm trying to see if I can just see anybody walking around. And yeah, there's a guy there. Just take a shot. I really shouldn't do things like that, just taking little shots like that. Obviously, I know I'm not going to kill him. It's just sort of, you know, I don't know. It's just an impulse I have. Is that a guy there? No, what is that? What is that there? What is that? I don't even know. It's like blood splatter or something. Then we're on this roof. I'm really worried about that roof. That's the roof I'm worried about the most. It's the highest roof, I do believe, in downtown. Um, so definitely want to watch out for that. Just for the simple fact is, if there's a guy up there with a sniper, he's just going to have an easy kill on me right here. Just because I'm lower and there's no way I'll be able to kill him. Not a chance, anyway. But yeah, it's looking pretty quiet. I need to think I really need to move out and try and get a few more kills. <clears throat> there's another dead silence. I'll take that instead of the uh, deployable cover for sure. And what is the point in this room? It's literally so pointless. It's just an elevator in there. But I can hear another box. Where's this box? Is it on the roof? Is it on the roof of this, this thing? Could possibly be. No. Very strange. Okay, there's not much going off here. I think it's time to dip. We're gonna get in the helicopter, fly somewhere else, see what we can find. I'm not gonna fly too far away. I wanna go up to this roof first, I think. There's a loadout coming in as well. Obviously, we can't even get that. Wow, I actually forgot we were doing this challenge. I was gonna attempt to actually go for it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit. See if I can spot anybody up here. See what's going off. I feel like I should have probably looked at the loadout drop a little bit earlier because depending on how many loadout drops drop, where yours drops, um, from the loadout drops, there's un however many, let's say there's two crates, yours and somebody else's. Uh, I'm just checking this, so I'm going to be really quiet because I feel like I can hear somebody down below, I think. Um, because let's say that yours drops and another one drops, from the loadout drops, there'll be another enemy within 200 meters of there, so depending on how many there is. Um, so let's say if there's three, then there's two other enemies nearby. So I should have really looked to see how many is nearby. I could just be wasting my time playing cautious here, but the storm's coming in now anyway, so I need to actually move. I'm going to move anyway in a second, try and get a bit few more kills, because I'm playing super passive and super slow, and it's going to be super boring. There's a guy all the way over there. Let's see if I can hit him. Do you see what I mean? I shouldn't really be doing this. But, um... Oh, oh my days. Oh, no way a guy came behind me like that. How did I not hear him? He had dead silence, 100%. Yeah, I did. And he kills me in two shots with that snake shot. Four technically. Wow, I've been sentenced to the gulag yet again. Well, I'll say yet again. Straight in as well this first time. But hopefully we can win this. Get straight back out. And hopefully drop on that roof. Okay, I've hit this guy. Throw a nade. Oh, I'm definitely dead. 100% screwed. <laughs> oh, my days. How did this kid not kill me? I don't know if he didn't see me or not, but how did he not kill me? Wow. I'm trying to see if this guy's on the roof, just so I can get my loot back. And I mean, that loadout drop was in a really risky place anyway as well to grab, so I'm kind of glad. I don't think I would have gone for that anyway, because that is in a super horrible place. I can't tell if this guy's there. I can see my dead body, I think. Yeah, it's my dead body. I tried to ping it because it was an enemy, it would have pinged it red. Top tip. Okay, he's not picked up any of my loot, but what I'm scared of, he's got the snake shots and he could be literally sat in them doors just knowing I'm going to come back for this and just have an easy free kill on me. Hopefully not. The door's shut. He might have dipped. Possibly. Should it be super quiet. Let me pick up these guns. Alright, we're going to move. Take the love of my life, the helicopter. It's going to be my saviour in this gameplay, I know it will be. There's a good helicopter be above me. Right, I'm going to get in my helicopter before... I don't know what this kid's going to do, so... I'm just going to go up to him, show him we're both in helicopters. Imagine if this kid crashes into me. It just kills us both. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad as well. It looks like he's flying away, to be fair. Yeah. Right. Let's see where we're going to go. I'm trying to think where to go from here. Land on this roof, because I want to see if anybody down here, them loadout drops going for them. Or see how many there is. That is what I want to do right now, and then hopefully move from here. Look at this landing skill. 
You don't see anything like it. I should be a pilot. Wow. But yeah, hopefully the helicopter should be alright there. I hope nobody around here. Let me take a look at them, uh, them loadout drops in a second. What else? What loot we got around here? A bit of money. I need to definitely buy. Oh my days, we've got precision airstrike. That is a helicopter gone. The helicopter is no way surviving that. Surely not. Oh my days, it's been it's gone. We're gonna get in the helicopter, fly somewhere else, see what we can find. Imagine if this kid crashes into me. It just kills us both. Just look at this landing skill. You don't see anything like it. I should be a pilot. Gone. We are screwed right now. Helicopter's gone. No way I can't believe my helicopter is gone. This is making life so much more difficult. We're literally down to the last 27 people. I've only got two kills, which is a shame. There's someone coming up as well. 100% someone coming up. Come on, boy. Show yourself. I know you're coming. I know you're coming. Come on. Here he is. It's a snake shot kid. I killed him before. That is sweet revenge. I'm so glad I killed him. He could have easily killed me, knocked all my armor and everything. What? He's got armor satchel as well, so we can hold eight. He's got a gas mask. Oh my god, this kid was stacked. Oh, he had his. He had a custom loadout as well, obviously as well, because he had the snake shots. I'm 100% taking his loadout as well. C4, we'll take that. We'll take the growl. And we're definitely taking the 357s. 100%. 100%. Right. Now we're, now I'm feeling a bit more comfortable with the loadout we've got. This is an absolute cheese loadout as well. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do a video on this loadout. Because I think this was... Oh my god, they've got a helicopter. Rest in peace. Right, we're going to have to move with the storm. So we need to figure out where I'm going to go. Three kills under the belt. Wish it was more. But hey ho, this is literally my second Warzone game um, in f literally a month, I would say a month, since the start of Season 3 anyway. Uh, so I'm going to move in with a storm and just take my time. Hopefully we can get a couple of kills on the way of people coming in as well. Make sure there's nobody following me in. That's why I wanted to wait for the storm, just to make sure no one was going to end up behind me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think running through this place is definitely going to be a risky move. 100% as well. I'm going to get this car and just drive to somewhere a little bit more, I don't even know, better I'd say. Let's get in the car, hopefully nobody has an RPG and they're going to blow into smithereens. Let's hope, quickly do, I don't know where I'm going to drive to, I'm just going to drive out this built up area to be honest. See where we get to. Gas is coming in so we're going to have to move. Circle is super small now, there's 12 people left and I can actually hear somebody walking alongside of me right now. Where the hell are they? Yeah, yeah, I can hear them 100%. Are they behind me? Sounds like they're running through a building. I'm not 100% though. Oh, there they are. Wow, that kid was bad. That was a f I don't know if he took him off guard or not, but that was literally a free kill. We'll take it, we'll take it. I'm not liking the position I'm in right now though. There is literally no cover. No cover at all. I'm hoping I can get to a bit of cover in this building next to me. If I don't even think it's in the circle. This is vulnerable up here, I'm telling you. Oh my god, why have we, why have we just jumped in here? Right. I am not liking the position I'm in at all. I'm struggling where to go. There's going to be someone cheesing in here. Got to be. Surprisingly not. I thought there was going to be someone just camping in here, you know. Ready to snake shot me. I'm going to take this decoy grenade. That could come in handy. In fact, to be honest, I forgot to pick up the heartbeat sensor that guy dropped. I really should have picked that up. My hands are sweating so hard right now. This is always so nerve-wracking because it's so quiet and anybody could be anywhere. Like, literally everybody's playing the same, like, taking it slow, waiting for somebody else to peek first just to try and get the edge and kill them. There could be somebody in the here as well, in the gas station. I hope not. I'm so glad there wasn't someone in the back of that truck. I'm just going to wait a second for the storm a little bit to see if it draws them out. Somebody in here? No. Okay, because I know what people can be like. They can literally peek at the last second and then just shoot you in the back, which is annoying. There's a guy over there. <clears throat> I'm not going to shoot him, obviously. That would be a straight position giveaway, and I'm in the storm a little bit. Thank God for gas masks. I have to get to this rock. I need something to cover me. Oh, my days. Where am I getting shot from? Jesus, that kid melted me. Wow. Okay, so I know there's somebody to my left over here. Let's try and get this guy. 
There he is. Free kill. I really should have invested in trying to go to a buy station just to get um, a self revive. Let's just loot this guy. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh my days, how did that get kill me so quickly? No way, Odin with a thermal like that. How did he kill me so quickly? Fourth place. Oh, I'm so mad. We could have easily have won that as well. That is so frustrating. Five kills, which is a shame. Jeez. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. This is a fail attempt at the challenge. We came fourth. So top five, I'll take it. I wish it was top three. would have been better, and a win would have been even better. I'm going to try the challenge again. Hopefully, I can get it. And I'm also going to do a few Warzone class up videos as well. Improve me my skills at Warzone, because uh, I really need to, you know... Got on top of them because I've not played that much Warzone. So if you do like the Warzone videos, smash a like for more of them. I'll make sure I do get some wins for us, I promise. I've already got a win up on my channel as well. So if you have missed that, check that out. It's from a video a couple of days ago. Uh, I'll probably link it in the description. So make sure you do check that one out. Anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. If you are new around here, make sure you do smash that subscribe button. Smash your like as well. It's very, very appreciated. And make sure you do follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for both of them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.